Hi, this is Justin from Poodle.com and I'm going to show you how to use the Poodle Multimedia field with the Moodle database activity. The Poodle Multimedia field allows you to add video and audio recordings as well as whiteboard pictures and snapshots to the Moodle database activity. Let's have a look at the course that we're going to add the activity to, the standard Moodle 2.3 course and uh, we need to have editing on, which it is, and here we'll, we'll add the database. Most of what I'm going to show you is really just uh, adding a database and configuring a database. So uh, the, the Poodle part of that is very, very small. So let's add here Poodle database example as our name. And uh, let's make it a video, and so we'll tell the user to record a video. And there are a number of settings that you can make for the database activity that actually can uh, really make it a, quite, a, quite a useful activity for your class. But for now, we'll leave those as the defaults. And the first page that we are presented with is a page to define a field or fields for our database. So you need to have fields to have data. And the data goes into a field. There are many for the Poodle database activity, the Moodle database activity. Here's a checkbox field, a date field, a file field. At the very bottom here we have our Poodle field. If we select that we have some options. And let's give our video recorder name, a name, let's call it video, and a description. Let's just call that a video also. And the widget type itself well, it could be audio, mp3, audio, video, whiteboard a snapshot. We've decided to make a video recording so I'll leave it as video and the file size uh, can stay at zero. That's a default and it's unlimited. Here we have name Poodle. This is actually uh, a language string that should be replaced with you know Poodle multimedia field or something like that. But I've just left that as a default because currently the Moodle database activity doesn't handle plugins quite as well as other Moodle activities and it doesn't uh, pick up the name for this particular field and you have to enter that manually after you have installed the Poodle database activity. So uh, I've just left that as a default so that you know that when you see that in your own courses if you make a Poodle database uh, if you make a Moodle database activity with Poodle uh, you'll have the same situation. But you can set a name here manually by editing a, a Moodle language resource file. Right, let's add that field to our database. Okay, and then we have video. Uh, great. So now we need to actually set up the template. This is all, all just the, the, the Moodle standard database setup from here. Uh, this, uh, this is a single template. So this is where we show a single submission, which in this case will be just, just a video. And the template fields that you could use are here, uh, and the, the video field uh, that's actually already been created automatically by Moodle. So let's just save that. It's good practice to go through and actually check all of the templates and save them because sometimes uh, they aren't configured properly and students can't see their own submissions. So again we have this is the, the list. So we can have a header for our list and we can have a uh, the entry itself and then we can have a footer for the page of that list. Uh, nice to add the, the username I've, I find when I'm doing these activities. So let's add the username to this activity. It can be a little bit hard to get in above the table. It's not going to let me do that. Uh, let's just do it here inside the table, shall we? So just above the, the video that we'll display, let's add the username. And we'll make that uh, A larger size, or eating one. Yeah, make it really big. This is, in fact, just the Moodle database activity uh, here. The setting of the templates. So I'm just showing you kind of how you will configure it should you use it yourself. Well, right, let's save that. Okay, so now we've configured the list template and the single template and the add template. That's quite important. Now this is where we uh, actually create our video. But again, we can just leave that as it's been created and save it. Right. And those will do for now, so let's try to add a video to our database that we've just created. So on the top list of tabs here we have Add Entry. 
and here we can see our Poodle video recorder and that's me I'm recording a screencast so that's why I have headphones on let's uh, record that so we record briefly save it's copied over into Moodle when we press save and view that entry will be added to our database and we'll see it there okay and we can play it back record that so we record briefly All right now uh, we can see if we look at it on the list template at this stage there's only one video we can see my name there so once once you have you know 20 or 30 students who have submitted videos they'll, each of their names will be at the top of the video Perhaps with a video that's not such a big deal but uh, with other submissions like uh, drawing pictures uh, it can be quite nice to know who has drawn that picture well let's uh, let's show drawing a picture then shall we so let's add another field to our database activity and let's call this the the picture field and a picture and let's make this a whiteboard so now we have a picture field and a video field again we should check each of our templates make sure that uh, they are uh, sorry uh, templates well, we'll probably want to add the picture field to this template so let's just add that in here picture I'll move this tag video because it doesn't apply anymore Let's save that. This is our list template. On our single template, the picture's already been added. Look at that. Let's come in here. Put that in here. Okay, now that will actually have our picture there beneath our video. And for our add template, also we'll need to worry about the picture that's already been placed there. Somebody's put that in there for us. So. Moodle's in that for us. And we put a picture in there. And we save that. Okay, so now let's try and add an entry to our database. And we can see we still have our video screen, our video recorder here. Alright, recorded our video. And here we have a whiteboard, so let's uh, draw the picture. Press the big save button. That's actually a necessary step, although I'd like to make that a bit simpler so they don't have to do that. And now we press the save and view for this submission. And you can see we do have the video that we've just uh, taken, but we also have the picture that we've just drawn. And when we go back to see our Poodle database in the list format, we've got the original submission, which doesn't have a picture. And we've got the new submission which has the video and the picture. And very simply that's how you use Poodle to make a very exciting database where your students can add videos, audio recordings, snapshot pictures or pictures that they've drawn on the whiteboard. I use the Poodle database activity to make really uh, interesting activities that my students enjoy. Uh, let me just quickly show you one of those. Here we have the stick people activity. In this one, students had to draw a stick figure when we practiced the uh, he is running, she is running speaking pattern. And these are some of the pictures that they drew. So you can imagine students enjoy drawing them, but they also enjoy looking at them and talking about them afterwards. And here is another database activity that I created. Here the students had to listen to an audio audio file uh, which explained a picture then they had to draw the picture as it was explained in the audio file and here we have uh, the pictures. Uh, it was actually a person shooting at a shark in the water. These are some of those pictures. Right, and very quickly, I hope that uh, has given you some information about how to use the Poodle database or multimedia field with the Moodle database activity. 
If you have any questions or you want to see more information about that, please come along to www.poodle.com.